Hello everyone, Simon here from Super Nerds Gaming and I'm back here for another pickup video. So I haven't done one of these in a while because we've had so much other content drop on the YouTube channel. Uh, you definitely should check it out if you already haven't. You know, we've had, you know, Z-Box unboxing, uh, my Geekbox unboxings, MCM pickups, MCM interviews and our MCM panel that we actually did uh, at Manchester, which was amazing. So if you haven't checked that out, please go back and check it out. Really good stuff there. But today it is about pickups and this is a cash converter pickup. Now it's getting harder in charity shops these days to find even a good few PS1 games. It's it's really hard you find and Xbox 360 games and PS3 games a lot, which is good to get them now because that is becoming quite collectible. Uh, but I got a, a cash converter as haul you could say so i've got some n64 titles here and some action figures and we're going to start off with the action fig action figures first because really they should be in a toy box episode but because it's all in the same haul it's getting done together so let's get into it so the first one i picked up is a star trek big action figure now you might if you watch one of the old videos uh man and john's 10 pound challenge i picked up one of the small ones and it's actually over here there you go, you can see, so you can see the difference there. Uh, these were £3 each, if you can see that. So I thought they're quite good. Still in box and that, so I'm quite happy. Um, I've gone I've gone right into toy collecting at the minute, I don't know. It's one of them phases probably. Um, definitely with me alien stuff. But that, that's quite cool. Except he does not look like Captain Pike at all. Uh, I'll put an image on the screen, he doesn't look like him. Although, I did get a second one. And the second one is the body from Star Trek, and that is Nero. He does actually look like Nero. He's got him pretty spot on there. Uh, they all come with bits and bobs in them. Again, this was £3 as well. Uh, and there was a few of them to collect. If you have a look on the back there. So, I've got two of them. It's, it's, it's one of them. I won't be looking out to get these. It's just if I come across them. In my path, I'll probably pick them up, but they're quite nice uh, to go into the toy collection, which I have over here, which you can't see. So there's them. Um, right, so we get into the game collection now. And the first one, as I said, these are all N64, is Mission Impossible. I don't remember playing this on the N64. I think I played it on the PS1, but not the N64. Uh, but this was complete in box for five pounds, so uh, I think that was a good deal. I'm not too sure. Um, I think it was. As you can see, it's got the manual and the game. And um, I'm steadily building up my N64 box collection. It's one of them that I don't seek to go after, but when you've seen them in cash converters and that, you've got to snatch it up. Funnily enough, when I was in there, it's just dropped off. <laughs> Funnily enough, when I was in there, I was in the queue and I seen them behind the counter because they always have these behind the counter and I was like, okay, got into the queue and that and the guy on my left side who was ahead of me went, can I have a look at them in 64 games? I was like, oh no, he's going to get them on in the queue for nothing. Luckily enough, he put them back. Obviously, it wasn't his thing. Uh, next one I've got is Perfect Dark. Now, this was £10 there. Um, I did recently get that because I got that sent to me by uh, Matt Lambord and that's over there but for £10 I picked it up and the thing is uh, I'm going to pass the box of this to John, Super Nerd John because he hasn't got it boxed so you know kind of pay it forward a bit because he passes me Ghostbuster stuff and that I'm going to pass him that so yeah it's quite good but uh, the only thing that hasn't got in there is with these N64 they haven't got the cardboard insert which makes the box a bit flimsy but that's quite good condition actually uh lastly but not leastly this was the most priciest one and i don't know if i got ripped off on it or not is mario tennis for the n64 uh this was 20 pounds for some reason when i went into shop i thought it was only 14 pounds because I, I went back to get this um and it wasn't it was 20 but um yeah it's complete in box and that i don't know what that's worth so if you know what that's worth, just let me know. Uh, did it get ripped off? Did or not? I, I'm not too sure. Really hard. It's really hard to tell with them 64 games. 
But uh, yeah, so I've got three, three box N64 games and two action figures, so I'm quite happy with that. So, you know, that's me haul from Cash Converters. Always keep an eye out in these places because there is stuff to be found. Uh, as I said, the charity shop's getting a bit slim nowadays. But that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, give us a sub. And as always, guys, I'll catch you later.